And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. An AL West matchup on the show. It's the Los Angeles Angels going up against the Oakland Athletics. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. There's a pound. There's a cold rain. Falling down. Just about to get underway and getting the start. Frankie Montas. Singing, he's a guy that can rack up a lot of strikeouts. Yeah, very respectable numbers last year. Sub 350 ERA. And, you know, guys like that, you may think, well, they're elite pitchers that are pitching sub twos. They're dominating. But when you can have that kind of consistency, you know you have a chance to win a ball game every time he takes the mound. So, you know, good season last year. Opportunity for him to go out there and repeat it this year, possibly even improve. But I tell you what, if this guy's pitching for me and I'm playing in the outfield, I'm loving every minute of it. David Fletcher takes a strike as he leads things off. First pitch, 640. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there as a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. And down on strikes. One out. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball really locked him up. Exactly. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking Matt. for. You're trying to protect Stop away it. and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Matt Duffy in the box with one away as he takes one there for a ball. No score just getting started, top of the first. Rolled over to third. Zips it across. Quick start here this evening, two out, top of the first. That is Here's Joe Madden's lineup for the Angels. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. Well, there's a lot of young talent in this lineup. I think as they gel together, gain some maturity over the course of this season, they could be playing October baseball. Two outs, base is empty. And next for L.A., Anthony Rendon. Montas back to work. And that one missing low. Next offering is in for a strike. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creep it into my mind right now. That's towards center. Junior makes the catch, and that'll do it. Angels held in check. Angels nothing. A's coming to bat. Major League Baseball is on the show. In the background is a blind spot. And pitching in this game, Noah Syndergaard. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Bottom of the first, and here's the first baseman, Jonah Brock. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat, get that first hit at the big league level. Pitch in for a strike. It's 0 and 1. And he deals. Nope. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The 1 1. Good eye right there. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit. Oh, now this one blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way and out of here. 
His first homer in the majors, and they're going to have to send somebody to get that ball for him. Always such a special moment. You know this is one of the biggest thrills of his life. He's got to be floating around the bases right now. Yeah, he'll remember every detail of that at bat for years, as he should. It's a true once-in-a-lifetime event. Now, Boog, there's so many times when a young player might wonder if he's ever even going to get to the big leagues and do something like this. Well, he doesn't have to wonder anymore. Here's Elvis Andrews. The wind of the pitch. Not shortstop. Elvis. And first Andrews. offering is fouled off. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The wind of the pitch. Ball that's upstairs. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. A swing and a line drive at a right field. That's a base hit. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice good. job of doing the other way. Come on. Wow. Now at the plate, Mike Trout. He's a guy who does it all. Here comes a pitch. And ball one. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Andrews gets his lead at first with nobody out. Down the line towards the corner. Ward makes the play. One down. That and time now to check out the A's lineup. All right, Ziggy, how about all the talent in this lineup? They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Pitch. Ken Griffey Jr. takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. The pitch. In for a strike. That's strike two. Next pitch off the play, and it's two and two. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Junior swinging the drive, deep right field, and it's gone. A two run homer, and they add to the lead. It's three nothing. 
He kept swinging, and it paid off. Well, that was a battle, Boo, again. He just kept taking his cuts, finally squared one up. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious to come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. That is good. Here's Lowry the now. designated hitter. Yeah. First pitch, just Lowry. misses. Still only one out here in the inning. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. No, well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. And it's fouled away. On the ground to third. Rendon picks it up. And he beats it with room to spare. That is it. The second baseman. Tell me. Yeah. Run around at first with one gone. Here's Tony Kemp. And a pitch. And takes low for ball one. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. It's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. The pitch. That ball two. No, he's really working him away, this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. First inning going a bit long. 23 pitches to this point. And the next pitch is way outside. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. And a pitch. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Righty to the plate. We got three and two. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Two away. You know, variant speeds can be just as Not useful for a pitcher as a movement. As you see right there, it really wasn't a great location. But the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. So here's Murphy now. The pitch. That one's in there. That's strike one. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout, and hit the reset button. You'll want. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. At the belt and fires. Whoa, that's down. And another ball. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Right-hander deals, and a swing and a miss, and that's that.
But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice as the A's are on top. Back here in the East Bay, second inning set to go. Leading now it's the, the DH, the Shohei Otani. He's Shohei. not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. First offering misses badly for ball one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. In the air, right side. McKinney under it. Balls it in, and there's one away. That is big. The first baseman, Jared Walsh. And now the first baseman, Jared Walsh. And the pitch. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. That exists. The center fielder, number 10, Justin. Justin Upton at the plate. And here it comes. This is inside. And that's ball one. Well, the offense really struggled last night. I mean, it was awful. So I, I think picking up a run right here, that's going to get him going a little bit. Runner at second here, one gone. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Eric Summersgill with home plate duty of this one. Kind of known for being generous with the corners, Chris. You know, I think that used to be a lot bigger deal in past eras where pitchers were working more in and out with their pitches. But, yeah, we'll see if those corners come into play in this one. Hey, no pitcher's going to argue at all. In the air, out towards left center. Grabs it on the run. And there are two down. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just seven. mowing him down. He's settling in. Seven. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe Brown. step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. So here's Brown at the plate. If you're going to be a championship type of ball club, you've got to hit with runners in scoring position. And after last night's struggles, I'm sure these guys are chomping at the bit to have this kind of opportunity here early in this game. Left-hand batter waits. Strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Swing and a tapper, and he grabs it foul. Here's the 0-2. And that one wrapped foul. Shut him down now. Next one misses. One and two to count. One and two. Next offering is down low. Two, two balls, balls, two strikes two to count with two outs. And it's second. Stays alive. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Well, that ball was hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike, and go after him and finish him off. Now he breaks his bat. And the inning is over. Angels leave one. 
They trail in this one, 3-0. Hey, Mike, Welcome back. Bottom half of inning number two. We got the right fielder, eight. Billy McKinney. The right fielder, Billy McKinney. And a pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, threw a lot of pitches. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one just misses. And that is ball one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now one away. Digging in for Oakland, Sheldon Noisman. He was hitless in four at bats yesterday. Noisy. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. to kick the pitch on the ground to third since it's a Walsh already two out here in the home half of inning number two now good sinker low in the zone right, right there and produced exactly what he was looking for ball on the ground nice ground out Jonah Bride up next for the A's singing you can't ask for anything more this guy checks all the boxes offensively he is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Next offering is in for a strike. This strong second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. Oh. Next offering misses, two and two. <laughs> That's out to center field. And that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he beats it. He's safe. A little more back spin on that instead of the top spin. He's now jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. Okay. And through. Here's the shortstop at the play. Elvis Andrews. And he deals. All strike right there. He was late there. Nope. Strike okay. one. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. strikes he goes and that is the third out of the inning one left for Oakland but they're on top by a count of three to nothing all set for the start of the inning at the play Max Stassi leading off of the Angels the catcher Max 
Stassi. The pitch. And nope. that one a little bit high. And there's the strike. I got a ball, one strike. Righty delivers. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. And that one is off the wall. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. Taylor Ward now at the plate. Montas back to work. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Stassi gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. And the righty deals. And a foul ball. pitch count, two and two. that one hit to right McKinney makes the ground and there's one away now batting shortstop David Fletcher so the lineup flips over here's David Fletcher let off the game with a strikeout. The pitch. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. And the pitch. Fouled off down the right side. in there at the knees for a strike. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. In the dirt. Runner holds tight as the count moves to two and two. Up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Now batting, second baseman, Matt. And now it's Duffy. Matt Duffy. The right-hander back to work. That one missed. Right-hander kicks, deals. Ground ball left side could be two. Noise to second, and that's two. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the A's three, and the Angels nothing. Step for the bottom of the third. Here's Trout. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. 
It's been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. And first offering is fouled off. Wind in the pitch. Yeah, and that skips in the dirt. That misses the zone, and the count is two and two. Got him looking, and one gone. Here's the Oakland cleanup hitter, Hank Griffey Jr. Yeah. Not only can he hit the cover off the ball, he's got a great eye yeah. as well. Here comes a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Swung on and fouled off. And he'll need to do bad. The wind of the pitch. That misses. And it's two and one. The two one. That's ball three. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Left hand hitter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Brown has this one sized up. Snags it for the second out. The batter, number eight, designated hitter, Jed. Two outs, bases Lowry. empty. Here's Jed Lowry. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Next offering upstairs. On the ground. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. On to inning number four. It's the ace three, and the Angels nothing. Out of the fourth, here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. Off of the, Angels, the third baseman, number six. Anthony Rendon. The right hander back to work. Misses outside. 1 0. Oh. And there's a foul ball. And a pitch. Rip towards third. Rolls across Got the it. diamond. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Up next for the Angels. The designated hitter. Shohei Otani. Here's Shohei Otani. Fly to right his first time. This is a guy that really has the ability to be more than just a slugger and a home run hitter, but to hit for average, to get on base, and to drive the ball out of the ballpark. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. One down, base is empty. And strike two.
kick. Sandios. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two away. Move. If you can set up a good two-strike splitter with a fastball yeah, on the previous pitch, the it can be so tough to recognize yeah. and adjust your swing to get yeah. a piece of it. Clearly had him reaching for it right there. And next for the Angels, Jared Walsh doubled his first time up. The pitch. That's a strike, and that is strike one. Say you win. Oh, two with the count. Two down, nobody on. And one and two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0 2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. other way and he beats the shift wasting no time he's two for two now on the That's night and just a 10. triple and home Trusting. run away from the cycle seriously we're starting with this already so in now for the Angels Justin Upton and a pitch there's a strike Walsh, the runner at first with two gone. Ground ball, left side. They get the force, and that is that. Angels strand one, still down 3-0. Back here at the ballpark, bottom four. Now it's the second baseman, yeah, Tony Kemp. The second baseman, Tony yeah. And here it comes. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. And there's one down. Now batting. Catcher. Sean Murphy. Here's Sean Murphy. Why to kick the pitch? Nope, Ball one there. Ball. Ball one, no strike. Not two even balls, close no there. Ball. Now two and zero. Oh. The wide to kick the two zero. Oh. And that one sliced foul. Righty to the plate. Got the back going too soon at strike two. Fooled on that pitch, got a little anxious. And now in a two strike count, he's gonna have to widen out his stance, choke up on the bat, and really make sure he has pitch recognition before pulling the trigger. He sends it to first. Already two gone here in the home four. Up next to Oakland. The white deal. Billy McKinney. Here's Billy McKinney at the plate. The wind of the pitch. There's the strike. To the right side. He steps on the bag. What a play. Inning over. Nothing doing there for the A's, but they lead it 3 0. And welcome back. Top five John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Seth Brown. Seth Brown.
pitch. There's the strike. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. And he deals. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. Going to count one and two. O2 2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Kicks and fires. Next offering is outside. Foul ball, he stays alive. Next pitch just misses. Three and two there. Right side, Kemp picks it up. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. The captain under 43. Matt Max Stassi comes up to hit. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. The pitch. Nope. That misses. Oh. And that's ball one. Out towards right center field. Long run, tracks it down. Out number two. Right Every day number during three. batting practice, Taylor. these outfielders get about Ward. 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Ward yeah. looks at a strike. Second trip to the plate for him. Next offering upstairs. Pitch misses inside. Now two balls and a strike. That one in for a strike, two and two. Well, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. In the air right field, McKinney moving under it. Makes the grab, and that is that. Angels go quietly there. They trail it here, three nothing. Back in Oakland, bottom of the inning. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Sheldon Noisy. The third baseman. Well, after watching the first inning of this one, you would not have expected that this pitcher would be in such a groove and still in the ball game at this point. The pitch. Slapped foul. Next offering is in for a strike. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. One that one misses in the dirt. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And the leadoff man sat down in their half of the fifth. Simply said, this guy's flailing at the plate right now. Just disconnected from head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strikeout of the series, and we're just two games in. So 
hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at-bats are just a little tough to watch right now. Jonah Brown up next for the A's. The pitch. That misses the zone. Ball one. And a 1 0. This one chopped in the ground, but foul. And the righty deals. And that's outside. And a pitch. That one blasted deep to right. Way back there. Reaching for it. Makes the catch. Now batting. Not shortstop. Elvis. Next up for the A's, Elvis Andrews. The right-hander back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Out in front and foul to the left side. One one now. And that one ripped to left. Brown makes the catch, and that'll do it. And one, two, three, go the A's. But they lead it 3 nothing. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now the shortstop, the David shortstop. Fletcher. David Fletcher. Montas back to work. And a strike in there. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. Slowly on the ground to short. Andrews handles. Andrews throws the first. Now one gone at the top of the sixth. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just pours in on the hands. And now it's Matt Duffy. comes a pitch that one back up the middle and it gets through didn't take long to get a result for that at bat just kept it simple Blake pepper with the middle of the infield and Anthony took it back where it came from Rendon. and there's just no one there to knock it down Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate and a pitch that one misses. Ball one. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Kicks and deals. Ground ball up the middle. Oh, great stop. Over to second for one. Oh, he throws it away. Well, no trouble getting the double play started, but clearly some trouble on that return throw to first. I'm not sure if the runner going into second had a part in that or if it was something like a bad transfer. Either way, could have been two outs, but instead, they got to work around a runner in scoring position now. Shohei Otani up to the dish. And a pitch. This to third, dives, and he can't hang on. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Textbook back control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And here's the first baseman, Jared Walsh. The pitch. Fouled off. He was late. And the right.
Right-hander deals. On the ground. They take the force out. Third out. Part of the order. 3-4-5. Coming up. It's the ace three. And the Angels nothing. So the Angels turn to their bullpen for a new pitcher, Jaime Berea. He's making his second appearance Number of the 51. season. Well, at Jaime this point of the ball game, we're Berea. talking about middle innings, and we need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Well, we go bottom Don't six, and here is Mark. Mike Trout. With this kind of lead, wow. he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. And a foul ball. Now the 0-1. He swings and fouls one off. Oh, and two now. And a swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Very frustrating right there no, as a speedy 24. potential base runner yeah. win. With two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way, you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. So here's the cleanup hitter, Ken Griffey Jr. And it was a homer back in the first inning that got his day started at the plate. Yeah, Boog, a two-run blast. His fans were just still getting into their seats here at the ballpark. So if you showed up late to this one, you missed out on a big moment early on. In there, and it's 0-1. They only say it's the best pitch in baseball, strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. He's a little bit more confidence to move through the at-bat. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Bullpen activity starting up now. Jose Suarez, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Myers, the right-hander, also getting loose. Very dominant with that fastball inside. Hitter's going to be conscious of that. Now you have the outer half of the plate to work with out there on the mound. And that chance handled. Gathers and throws to first. Two up, two down. The batter, number eight. Designated hitter. Yeah. Here's Lowry now. pitch ball that one. one misses and that's ball one, ball one no strike. next offering is in for a no, strike one and one. and he flips a breaking ball, ball in strike. there Down. or a change up Either one, <laughs> something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Next offering in the dirt. It's two and two. Next one misses, and the count's full. Left hand batter waits. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Ward settles under this one, and he makes the catch. And that's the third out. A's go quickly and quietly there, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. New inning getting started. Justin Upton at the plate. Leading off of the Angels, the center fielder, number 10, Justin Upton. And the pitch. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. That 
one's in there. And the count is 0-2. Movement in the bullpen. Daoli Scarra preparing to come on if needed. Selman, the lefty, warming up as well. The wind of the pitch. Slow ground ball to the right side. Murphy throws the first in time. That's the first out at the top of the seventh. Now batting left fielder Seth Brown. So here's Brown at the plate. The wind of the pitch. No Ball pitch. one low. And here it comes. Just off the inside edge. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Next offering upstairs. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. The 3 1. Swing and a miss. And it's 3 and 2. They haven't scored yet in this game. And with that swing, definitely trying to get on the board. That's the way guys go about their business today. Swing and a miss. And he got him. Two out. Well, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me ridden all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited. It was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. Max Stassi comes up to hit. The pitch. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Next pitch misses. Ball two. The 2-0 is in for a strike. New one. Next offering is fouled back. Two and two. That one just misses. That two-seam fastball is usually coupled with a slider away, and when a hitter's conscious of the pitch in, it's hard for him to cover middle away, and that's where a pitcher can really finish off that batter. The other way, and a base hit right there. Well, he's been working out of the stretch just about the entire game, Boog. A lot of base runners on against him. He's just done a really nice job of scattering the hits, not giving up any runs. But at some point, your luck usually runs out. Runner at first with two away. Taylor Ward, the next to hit. The pitch. Line drive and a base hit right there. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. The batter, the shortstop, David. Back to Fletcher. the top of the Angels lineup. David Fletcher, the next to hit for the Angels. And the right hander back to work. There's a strike. Stassi over at second. Ward at first. Two out of the inning. That one ripped left field. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. 
Andrews drained a couple. They trail in this one, 3 nothing. Set for the last half of the seventh, here's Tony Kemp. Leading off for the A's, the second baseman, Tony. And he deals. Kemp. And that's outside. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire didn't give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. That's the next pitch misses. And the count is 2-0. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Bounce to the left side. Rendon throw to first. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Now batting, catcher, John Murphy. So here's Murphy now. A wide to kick the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Next one in the dirt. Next pitch is outside. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Next offering misses, and it's three and two. In the air, left field, Brown has a beat on it. Two down. Up next for Oakland, the right fielder, Billy. Here's Billy McKinney at the plate. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. This one ripped, but foul to the right. Left hand hitter waits. That one missing inside. One. Throwing the ball well, and they need this scoreless inning in relief right here. Been doing a good job keeping him in striking distance. Next offering way off through. the plate. Next one misses, and now it's three and two. Cut on and miss, struck him out. And that will end the inning. And the A's are gone in order, but they lead it three nothing. Welcome back for the top of the eight. Matt Duffy to lead it off. Leading off for the Angels, the second baseman, Matt. Duffy. The right hander back to work. That's down and in. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Next pitch is outside. Oakland's bullpen has some movement. Lou Trevino, the closer, getting cranked up for a possible save opportunity. Selman getting cranked up as well. Oh, 
that one down the line and it goes just foul. Two and one now. That one pushed foul. Base hit, left center field. Around first, digging for two. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't the feel any base vibration base. in your hands whatsoever. Anthony. Such a good feel. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Now it's Anthony Rendon. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. And that one fouled off. The punch out there, not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Here's Shohei Otani, one for three. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Duffy leads off second with one gone in the inning. Swing and a line drive caught. Now batting the first base, Jared Wall. Jared Walsh, the next to hit for the Angels for the fourth time tonight. The pitch. Check swing, no appeal. 1 and 0. Oh. The next offering misses. 2 and 0. Oh. Well, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you. So, make him expand his zone if he doesn't. Give him a walk. Runner leads away at second. That one fouled off. Rudder at second, two down. That one hammered left field. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Angels lead one, still down, three nothing. Mike Myers please. comes on now. now. It's his job to keep his team in the Number game. 21, Mike Myers. Out of the bottom of the eighth, digging in for Oakland, Sheldon Leading Noisy. For the, eighth, the third baseman, Sheldon Noisy. And a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. And that's going to kick into the corner. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he pulls in with a double for his first hit of the year. He got a pitch he could get to no, out front, base, kept his bat through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. Jared Walsh. 
Jonah Bry up next for the A's. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Kicks and fires. Activity in the bullpen for the Angels. Jose Suarez, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Bradley warming up as well. And it's second. And now two and one. No outs. Runner on second. Swings and misses. Two balls, two strikes. Righty to the plate. Got him. And that's the first out. No, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Here's Elvis Andrews. And here it comes. Check swing, but he went too far. Going to walk. Righty deals. That one called a strike. And it's 0-2. The 0-2. And there's a ball. One out and a runner at second. Bounce to the right. And he handles it himself for the out. First of all, that's a no great field. diving stop to keep the ball Come on the infield. Then he's able to get up and Whoa. get an out. He also keeps that runner from advancing any further. If that ball gets through, the complexion of this inning could be drastically different. And the batter now, Mike Trout. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. Here comes a pitch. Inside, just missed. That one misses. Yeah, that's ball two. Noisy on third with two out. Swing and a miss. Now two balls and a strike. Here's a two one. Slider clips the zone. over to first. That's out number three. The A's strand one, but they lead it three nothing. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the center fielder, Justin Upton. The center fielder, number 10, Justin Upton. Montas back to work. Clips the inside corner. That misses. A ball, one strike. So now 
now one and two. Well, he went inside a couple of times and now outside. Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. Next offering is fouled back. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch, keep the bat alive. Next offering misses. Two and two. <laughs> one ripped can't get their base hit makes the turn and heads for second and he'll pull into second safely a lot of hitters tell themselves line drive over the infielder's head that's what I'm trying to do just keep that approach simple and right there he was perfectly executed on time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely Manager out of the dugout now, and he will make a move to dip into the A's bullpen. Montas is done in this one. It's a three-run game, and we'll be back to tell you about the new arm in a minute. So they turn to Lou Trevino. Now and this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Number 62. Lou. Here's the left fielder, Seth Brown. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Runner at second, nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Next pitch misses way outside. to the right side now one gone in the ninth the number 43 here's the Angels catcher Max Stassi and this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here And he deals. Out to short. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Seeing an impressive jump throw from the hole at short. Let's see what StatCast has to say. Now he's just showing off out there. I mean, I don't know if fans realize how much arm strength you need to make that throw. This guy's got a rocket of an arm, and that was on full display right there. Just an awesome job. Two outs, base is empty. And next for L.A., Taylor Ward. The pitch. That one inside, and that's ball one. The 1-0. -oh. And a foul ball. Righty delivers. And that's downstairs and outside. Two ball, one strike. Right-handed reliever. 
And downstairs. Pressure mountain right here with the tying rod in the on-deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. Two outs. And yeah, there's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's David Fletcher. Fletcher. And a pitch. This one chopped up the middle. Throw to first and ball game. And the A's take the first two games of this series. 3-1 ball game. Quick game. We were looking for a little bit more. It seemed at points the offenses were going to break out. But a total of four runs combined. Really good pitching and defense on both sides. Just a couple of key swings making all the difference. And your final 3-1. Oakland hangs on to win it. Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Shelby saying so long.